Todd, can you do something for the ET Kids video? No? Ugh. Hi, Shalana. Can you do something for the ET Kids video? Pregnant? What? Ugh. Jen, can you do something for the ET Kids video? No! Mm. Mac, can you do something for the ET Kids video? I really need it. Ah. Nikki, can you do something for the ET Kids video? No. Mm. No. Ah. Ah. Mm. Ah. Tanya. Can't get anybody to answer or to do anything for the ET Kids video. They're all busy with March break. I don't know. I'm gonna throw it back to you. I'm saying goodbye to any limitations. for joining us at Evangel Temple for Sunday School today. I'm Captain Cool. It's just me, Christine. I am glad that you are joining us this new year for our Sunday School lessons. Give me just a moment while I slip into my regular people clothes. <laughs> 
take off my superhero shoes. Okay, back to just me, Christine. I'm so glad that you guys are here with us today. I am in the process right now of playing with some superheroes. They are really fun. I love that they fight bad guys. Pow, pow. They were so cool that I wanted to become a superhero myself. You guys might know some of my superhero friends. Batman. Spider. Spider-Man. Batman's trusty sidekick, Robin. While I was playing with superheroes, I thought of something really cool. All of these superheroes fight against bad guys. They try to keep the world from evil by knocking out the bad guys. All of these superheroes have really cool defenses. Uh, like Batman here has this suit of armor that he puts on with a cape and a mask and a shield and a utility belt. Robin wears the same thing. He's got some leg shields here in case he gets kicked in the shin by a bad guy maybe. Spider-Man has cool web slingers that sling out of his little hands here. Pshh, pshh. All of these superheroes have defenses to defend themselves against bad guys. Part of our job is to defend ourselves against a bad guy too. A really long time ago, Satan was an angel and he was named Lucifer. And he was trying to be like God. He was trying to get all of the angels on his side to be like God, like as powerful as God was. And God said, mm -mm, there's no one like me. No one can be greater than I am. So he cast down Satan out of heaven. He made him not an angel anymore. Since then, though, Satan has been waging a big spiritual battle around us. His job is to try to win over as many people away from God as possible. And that's how he wins. He gets people doing evil things and thinking that they're not loved by God. And he wins. Our job is to say, no way, Satan, you don't win. God does. I want to do the right thing. I want to not sin. I know that God loves me. And I'm going to do everything that I can to fight against the powers of evil. Just like all of our superhero friends wear things like armor to protect them from bad guys, God gave us spiritual armor or the armor of God. And we can find out about that in the Bible. So I'm going to turn in my Bible to the book of Ephesians. And it's a book that's written to a church. And it says in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 10, Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. How do we do this? How do we be strong in the Lord and his mighty power? Well, the next verse says, put on the full armor of God so you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. God knows that Satan is trying to plan to take us away from him by getting us to do the wrong thing so many times that we believe we're not loved anymore. Guess what? God gives us tools so that we can fight against the devil's plans. What are those tools, you might ask? Well, in Sunday School for the next few weeks, we are going to be focusing on the armor of God. So God gives us all of these things that we can put on our body, just like I was wearing my superhero shoes and some glasses and a breastplate of tin foil. God gives us tools in his Bible that tells us how we can fight against the devil's plans to take us away from him. We wouldn't go into a battle as a superhero without putting on some things to protect us. We are living in a world that is constantly with a spiritual battle around us. And God gives us all the tools that we need to fight against that. We just need to go to his word and find out what that is. See you soon. Hello everyone and welcome back to How to Eat Civilized. In this video, we were going to eat container chips. Now these chips come in this handy dandy container. Isn't
Isn't that wonderful? Now, we pop the lid and we look. Oh my goodness, look at that, boys and girls. Someone has eaten my container chips. Well, there's a few left, so I'll show you how to eat container chips in a civilized way. It is not civilized to eat someone's container chips, just so you know. Let me see. Now you take one of the container chips and you put it in your mouth and you eat little bites. So salty. So that is one way to eat container chips. Another way to eat container chips is to take two chips at a time and you can actually form some duck lips. They're very, very contagious. Everybody's going to want to do it. Look at this. Oh, I'm going to go like this. You look like a duck. Isn't that how you look? 